how y'all doing? <clears throat> just uh, wanna come on here for a minute, and uh, <clears throat> wanted to talk to y'all for a second. Basically, what I want to talk about is uh, like I said, uh, the the. Uh, one I made today, video I made earlier, and uh, I was talking about uh, uh, people trying to go up against uh, uh, God's word, and uh, well, not go up against God's word, but go up against God. It's basically the same thing, going up against his word. And, uh, <clears throat> people don't understand or know how dangerous that is. Uh, like, we are in the times right now where it's, you don't want to do such a thing, you know, uh, Lord, he speaks, <clears throat> how can I say this, he speaks in a way where he gives you clues, what relations, and warnings, <laughs> clues. Revelations and warnings. No matter what goes on between you and God, if you keep the word, which He's going to keep that word, it shall come to pass. No matter what he's spoken. And this is the thing. For a lot of people who think they can uh, fool God. He's not a God to be mocked. After he says something, he decrees something. But not nothing. No beast, no man, no... No, nothing better go up against it. Because I'm telling you. He is not the one to play with guys. He's spoken what he's spoken. And that you think you're going to be able to fool him. After he said what he'd said. <coughs> spot where you think you're going to go up against God it's going to be a problem it's uh like I said I always fly when I make one but okay I'm going to leave that as that it is uh It's a dangerous thing coming up against God's word. Excuse me. And you thinking that you're gonna win. You see, God let you think you're gonna win. <laughs> he let you think you're gonna win. God always wins. Jesus always wins. You understand? Mm. Always. It's. Um, how can I say this? 
It is inevitable. Like I told you. You don't have to uh, say nothing else about it. <clears throat> it is inevitable. You don't have to say nothing about the word no more. Just keep the word. Just like Jesus keeps the word, keep the word. And guess what? It's going to come to pass whether you like it, nobody else don't like it, he don't like it. It does not matter. <laughs> and God has spoken over that thing. That person, that matter, that people, uh, that thing, whatever it is, it does not matter. It could be a bird, it could be a crow, it could be... Uh, a seed, it can be flowers, it can be anything in the world. When he establish a covenant with something, his word has to come to pass. Because he's spoken it. And we speak it. shall come to pass or if you get in the way of it and you try and hinder it as always <clears throat> catastrophic things happen not on one level but on like two or three levels <laughs> The thing is going to speed up. Uh, whatever's in the way is going to get pushed out of the way. Or, you know, the things happen now. I'm telling you, like, it's a very dangerous thing when you're trying to get up in the way of God's divine order. I'm telling you, and I mean it, it's like this is not nothing to play with. God order decrees. And his plans and his plots. I mean, his plans and his, uh, excuse me about that. His plans and his, 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 uh, his word. Just his word. Alone. Is a sword. Did you hear me? His word alone by itself after he'd spoken it. And it may be it may have been uh, years that he spoken that thing. Guess what? From all the hindering and delays that the other one does to try and stop it. Hinder and delay all you want. <laughs> but guess what? It shall come to pass. And another thing, if God say, okay, you think you're going to stop what I got going? And you think you're going to try and trick me or fool me? I'm going to show you something. <laughs> Once he get off that seat, and once he started making his moves, if you get in the way again, and he told you not to get in the way this time, like I said, catastrophic things will happen. He's already made it in a plan where you better not get in the way. The thing is, he's hoping that you not get in the way of his plan and of his word because if you do it's going to be a problem I tell you I don't even want to say the other part you already know it's dangerous it's dangerous I'm telling you it's dangerous God is a excuse me. 
got his um he's uh I could say it's just the word itself is a sword. So if the word itself is a sword, imagine what would happen if you keep stepping in the way of divine order. It shall come to pass, no matter what. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what. I mean, no matter what. It could be storming outside. Hear fire coming out of the sky. Guess what? <laughs> At the same time, that word gonna come to pass. Because he's spoken it. And the reason why is because it's it's of him. So whatever goes on and what's going on now I'm about to tell you. If these people keep going up against God, which he's already done, you will see the things that you don't want to see about this country. Because of you trying to get in the way. Of God's plan. Like I told you. You think you're going up. You think you're going up against the children of God. But you're going up against God. And you will not win. You will not win. I'm telling you. He's a. He makes things, how can I say, um, I would say, you know you're probably going to get in the way, he's a future guy too, he's a, uh, he's thousands, thousands, millions, millions of years, years ahead of your time. You already know what's going to happen. So what he do is it, he plans it out. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. Because <laughs> you already know you're going to do it. You already know you're going to do it. But guess what? He's going to do it too. He's going to do it anyway. Now, you know you're going to get in the way. You know you're going to try and do this and do that. He knows. But that's okay. But, uh, that's all I want to come on here and uh, speak about. And, uh, this is God's good news for you today. Yeah, I'll be back.